Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Superdell. Today I got a video about tips. You know, certain tips that you could do on the NVIDIA Shield. So we won't be talking about any APKs. We won't be talking about Kodi. No programming. This is strictly about the experience of you controlling your NVIDIA Shield. Now, before we get started, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button. Also, after you subscribe or if you are subscribed to my channel period if you click that bell icon you will get notified anytime i release any video on youtube finally if you like the video thumbs up the video i would greatly appreciate it it just shows others when they come to my channel and they looking at this video that everything is legit so now that we got that out the way let's get into the experience of the nvidia shield let me show you a five let me see one two three four five tips that you should be able to do on the nvidia shield so hopefully you got pen and a paper crayon or something or you could just watch the video execute it and then unpause the video and go to the next one all right so now let's get this video started now over the weekend i got probably about three or four emails saying how do you uninstall the app all right now there's two ways you could do this it might be another one i'm gonna just show you my way the two ways that i know of one way you could do it let's just say I'm, i want to show you something down on the other end i got the weather the weather live app okay if i want to get rid of that app i can either go to settings I can go down to apps click on apps and if I scroll all the way down to the bottom because it's in alphabetical order I should bump into the weather live app now once I highlight it you see it's you know shaded a little bit if I click on it it gives me the option to uninstall only thing you have to do is click one time and it says uninstall do you want to uninstall this app if you want to uninstall it of course you will click ok alright now let me show you I'm bagging all the way out I'm going to show you another way just in case you have the weather app on your home screen of the Nvidia Shield another way you can do it let me go all the way down right here so if you press inside the circle of your directional pad so I'm gonna just click and hold it let me do that again you see down here you see this little trash can if you hit the down directional you see that and if I will if I wanted to get rid of this app which I can I'll get rid of it for you I can always bring it back but if I want to get rid of it I could just click and it's going to uninstall it it says do you want to uninstall this app and I can go over here and click OK and it's going to uninstall it and when I'm done if that's the only app I want to uninstall on my home screen I can just go down there and click done and I, there it is it's gone alright so as simple as that um, that's how you uninstall the app alright let's go to the second one adjust your screen now some people you know how you have your TV in it it seems like it's too big alright the, the picture is too big for your TV let me show you how to fix that go to settings go to display and sound alright let's go to advanced settings and you see that right there adjust and overscan if you click that you should see these four triangles now if it look like the triangles are hanging off somewhere then you know there's a problem if you read right here it says press up and down until the green triangles are completely visible mines are visible all right but if yours is not all you have to do is just click the down key until all of them are on you can see all triangles okay once you be able once you adjust your triangles and you can see them all that's all you have to do 
is back out of it, back out of it, back out of it. And then you should be, sorry about that, you should be good. Everything should be showing. Okay, that's how you do that. Let's go to number three. This is into uh, screen saving. All right, so go to your settings. All right, if you go to screen savers, this is pretty neat. This is where you control everything. If you want a screen saver um, that be showing mountains and stuff like that, you will pick backdrop. All right. If you want to see some colors, you could do it or you could completely turn it off. It's up to you. Okay. But whenever your NVIDIA Shield, say you go and make you some coffee and get something to drink and you come back and it's showing a pretty background, a backdrop of mountains or the ocean. Yeah, that's what that is for. But if you change the colors, it'll have some fancy colors on it. Looking good too. It, both of them nice. All right. So right now I got it on backdrop. All right. But if when do you want it to start? When do you want your backdrop to start? All right. You can go in here and say, hey, I want it to start after 15 minutes of inactivity. OK, you can pick 15 minutes. You can pick 30 minutes. It's up to you. I got mine on five minutes because if I'm going away, you know, somewhere I come back, you know, I, I see the mountains. I, I just like mine short. And I'm going to tell you a reason why, because here it is right here. Put device to sleep. All right. After five minutes, it's going to show the mountains or whatever. All right. All your pictures, all the backdrops. But then you can schedule your device to go to sleep. Say you go somewhere. You know, you go upstairs, company come over. You thinking they're going to be there for five minutes, ten minutes. But they end up being there for an hour. You can actually have your device put to sleep after, you know, five minutes of inactivity, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. So I got mine going to sleep after 20 minutes of inactivity. So if I go upstairs, I go outside or something, I know my shield will go to sleep. So it'll, it'll put itself to sleep. All right. So that is pretty neat. So you could definitely go up in here and make some move. I don't know if you want to go an hour or 30 minutes. I think five or 20 would be, you know, where you want it. All right. Or you could just put it to sleep right now. So, like, you could just go here and put it to sleep. And see, and it went to sleep. And the only thing you got to do is click your clicker, and it should come back on. All right? You you don't woken it up. All right? Waking it up, brother. All right? So, that is good to know right there. Screen savers, okay? Bluetooth. I even got asked about this. Okay? Anytime you want to add Bluetooth, right? And I got some Bluetooth headphones right here. All right. These are Bluetooth headphones. I like these headphones right here. I'm going to see if it picks it up. All right. So anytime you got Bluetooth anything, keyboard, headsets, uh, earplugs, I don't care what, it, uh, uh, remote control, game pass, you go over here and you can activate it here. So if you want to add a Bluetooth to your NVIDIA Shield, say you want to add some headphones and you want to watch a movie at night. You don't want to wake your significant other. All right. This is where this is going to come into play. So click on add accessories. Let me turn this on. And it should pick up. So just give it a second. Right there. We come out. These might be paired to my other ones. Let me do this one. Let me pair this one. There we go. On. There you go right there. So all you have to do is go over here. These are paired to my phone. So that's why they wouldn't do it. All you have to do is go over there and click the P7.
Hopefully you will hear it. You heard it say connected. So now these are connected. All right. And so when you go back in, you can just you can see what's connected. Uh, there you go right there. It tells you right there that the P7D's headphones are connected. All right. So when I turn them off, we should lose connectivity. We should. And there you have it right there. So whenever we turn on our Bluetooth device, turn it on. Alright, so we should be good. And you can unpair it right here. So if you don't want to unpair it, I mean if you do want to unpair, just click on it and click it right there. So there we go. We can turn these off. So sorry about these. These are connected to my phone. Alright, so you can only do one of them at one time. And finally, 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 finally. Alright, a lot of people say, how do you put the shield to sleep, which we seen earlier, but there's an easier way. Alright, one way you can put the shield to sleep. Alright, let me show you that again. You see on your skinny remote, you see that little triangle? If you press and hold it, you can put the shield to sleep right now. Your shield is sleep. It's sleep. That's it. You can wake it up by just clicking and it'll come right on. Also, if you want to turn it off, go to your settings. All right. Go to your about. And you see where it says power off? You can power this bad boy off right there. And it will say shield was shut down. All right. So that's how you can do it. If you want and you just click OK and your shield was shut down, it would, it would just shut down. All right. And then you could press the button and it'll wake back up and stuff like that. So those are five tips of you taking control of your NVIDIA shield. All right. Please like this video. Please share it. This will help someone. It's a lot of people out here getting NVIDIA shields and I want to be that one person who show you how to, you know, take control of that box. Don't let that box control you. You control that box. Salute to everyone. I'll see y'all on the next video and talk to you later. This is Superdale from the heart. Salute. I'm out. Peace.